Alex Estrella with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates and throw out the rest. I wanted to do something a little different here. What's the subject that we need to talk about? Okay. So, dirt digging and uninterested. So this feels like someone who is trying to get information about you uh, or feeling like under surveillance all the time and or some someone who is trying to figure out figure out where you're at what you're doing and uh, you either appear uninterested or you are uninterested. Okay. And this person might have a bad reputation. Okay, so. So this is about someone who is, is looking into you Trying to get information. You don't seem available. There's a few reversals in this deck right now, which I don't normally read that way. Okay. Okay, so it's a King of Cups. who is in the process of making a move or a hasty move. So it could be because of this King of Cups. It's someone who is potentially a bully, someone about to make a very, or is making a hasty move right now, or made a hasty move in the past but because this is this is a challenge they've got to do something right now they've got to do something right now and it's knight of swords this could be very cutting words this could be a physical action. This is, you know, a man on a horse with a big sword going fast. So um, this could be a move that's happening right now. Sometimes this is the bully. Um, so there's someone who is trying to make a fast move towards you. Um, or having to do with you and this it's either this king of cups that is doing it or someone who's concerned about this king of cups they feel like you are they're either feeling hopeless and they have no hope or they're feeling like you're the star and they're in competition with you. This person is, this can be a romantic offer, but just from the vibe that I'm getting here, this feels like someone who smiles in your face and, you know, can't be trusted though. Someone who's manipulative. And these are all actions. They're concerned with this Ten of Pentacles. They are concerned with maybe your Ten of Pentacles. Everything that you're going to get. I don't really like this energy. Nine of, pen, nine of Cups 
and four of cups. So it's like, this could be, it's almost like these, these two people are on the couch stuck watching someone's dream come true. But it's like looking at it through a twisted perspective. Um, and it's a little bit, it's like looking at your life with a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just going to say shallow. The, caring about the shallow things. It's like you might be on mission and worked really hard. So it's like a dream come true. Not happy about it. They feel rejected. This person is either thinking that it's almost like everything's everything justice is playing out in your life or they're looking at things from a very mechanical uh, perspective like a non-emotional this could be a person have to do something there's a lot of people here we've got the knight of cups the prince of cups the knight of swords the king of swords it's a lot of people let me keep looking here wow whoa These are the cards that just flew out. It, when it flew out, it landed this way. This is the Seven of Cups. So this person seems to be in, a, in an extreme illusion. And five of um, three of Pentacles reversed. Just like our whole group is falling apart. Something they've been working on. So this person is like in dire straits, it appears. This person's not doing well, and they're taking action based on based on this is how they appear. They're taking action based on um, this feeling like real hasty, like they've got to react. Um, they want this wealth. could be inspiration, could be an idea. It's like this person is feeling like they can get this from you or they want to stop this from happening for you or they need you. seems like there's going to be some sort of like virtuous reunion that's the outcome so if they're trying to stop it it's not going to work the bottom of the deck we've got destiny playing out and karma for this person wow this is get some clarifications this is definitely there's karmic energy here I feel like this is you know this could be your person it could be a karmic energy trying to 
kind of about to try to figure out something they can do or, or it's your person trying to figure out how to make this mad dash towards you. Okay, we got Empress and King of Cups. Empress and King of Cups. It's like you having everything. This is you. Getting everything. And this Knight of Swords, yeah, is feeling really like this is the end for them. You getting all of these things is bottoming this person out. And they are trying to make, take an action from this feeling shame and betrayal they're at the very very bottom and they're taking action from this energy this is not a good place to be taking action from so you have someone who wants to take an action towards you this feels dangerous or it feels like Desperate, that's the word I'm looking for. It's like desperate. You have desperate energy. Someone who's completely defeated and desperate because of things working out for you. Dealing with this karma. Yeah, instead of walking away, they can't stop themselves from competing with you. Hmm. We've got King of Swords here. Who is this King of Swords here? Which it feels like a person. It's like someone was trying to get away with something deceitful, but judgment. They were under judgment while they were doing whatever. While like that's what I was saying. Like this person feels like to me because usually Knight of Cups can be like a romantic overture. But it's just the energy of this reading is making me feel like this person is a, a manipulative person. And that's what I think that's the moon here. Doing something in the dark. Sneaky. Very sneaky actions. Because they're on a horse. They're doing something. They were doing something where they thought they couldn't be seen. But they were under judgment this King of Swords could be someone, a particular person seeing them while they thought they were operating, just, you know, in the dark. They were putting a certain face forward. They were wearing a mask, a um, charmer, whatever they were doing there. Now I feel like they, they know who this King of Swords is and they have to contend with their actions because something's come out. If they're shamed and ruined, now they're trying to react and it feels like they're trying to figure out it's like they can't get to you and they're trying to figure out also I'll get more into this 
this could be an action that they're trying to take in order to save themselves. Wow, death wanted to come out. There's some big ending here. Really big ending that they're dealing with. And so they're trying to save themselves. And it's almost like attacking you, even though you're just doing your thing. It's like, what do they want? So they're worried about this Ten of Pentacles, apparently. Let's see. Yeah, you getting everything, the star. Near, f near future. Yeah, there's some, they're going to feel rejected. Something, it's not, they're not going to get what they were trying to, to get. And it was greedy. It was all for the wrong reasons. Hmm. This activist, I'm feeling like this could be somebody... It's either someone seeing the greed, this King of Swords. I know it says princess, I mean the activist, and it says um, princess, but in this deck, it's the king. Um, so it's a little bit off. And I've got people outside making noise. Feels like, like a noise noise campaign. It feels like this uh, energy might be happening to for around you, not just one person. And I think it's because this energy is happening to a lot of people. And it's very subtle, but it's like to, you know, um, knock you off your square. Um... It's just symbolic to me. Um, this could be someone who s has seen the greed. Or someone who's trying to hold on to something. I'll get more into that. Yeah, this person is losing everything. People are not wanting to be around them. They did something really reckless. They might be being re re reckless. That's the word. Knight of Swords, reversed, reckless, hasty. They're doing something right now. And it's, it's, it's highly manipulative. Look, look what was right under here again. Knight of Swords, reversed, highly manipulative, super, super hasty. They're like someone who's disempowered and they're, they're acting out. This person, this person, their whole network's falling apart. Any illusion that they had created is being wiped out. People don't want to have anything to do with them. This is very, very manipulative. This is like narcissistic type behavior. Creating illusions. This person's very deceitful and reckless. Wow, this is not a good energy. And I, you know, I asked, you know, what is it that we need to know? I said, I'm going to do it a little bit differently to get, get to the subject. So there's someone who's digging dirt and acting really recklessly. This could be because someone is uninterested. It could be this king of cups just wants to be with this empress. It could be you are the empress who is uninterested. I'm going to clarify though. You're un if you're feeling like you're under a microscope, you are. Page of Wands, awareness, news. 
this could also be like sensuality um ace of wands it's you know it's fire it's masculine fire it's a little bit phallic page of wands sometimes can be that same energy so i don't know why they'd be worried about that but i'm just saying it because i'm seeing it and we'll see how it all ties in here outcome well it looks like they end up in a stalemate with this whole group of people there's three a three there's still this reunion here this there's a reunion and something really great happening so i don't know why two of swords is happening because that to me is not great it's not final and I don't love three of cups it's not my favorite it can be though in this case a good thing um this could be you blocking out whatever this is with this group of people this could be a celebration this could be some planning this could be almost like going away to enjoy yourself and blocking out whatever this energy is of this this tyrant tyrant high priestess is here so this is really huge energy this means to me that you're definitely i guess this reading is like a confirmation for you you are the high priestess this means you're seeing all of this with your third eye right now you might be feeling a lot of crazy around you we're seeing a lot of crazy and it's you're you're watching karma play out and you're the things that you're also building things are kind of turning or you feel things you can see things at, about to unfold you're seeing stuff happen here and so this is confirmation um for you you are the high priestess you are, the, you are the star and you are the high priestess and you are moving towards this ten of pentacles and you've got this tyrant who's dealing with their own karma who didn't realize who you were or are and that you saw them the whole time. They were operating and see, there might be things that you didn't know in the beginning, but now you're this high priestess and you're you're tuning in and doing whatever you need to do to stay uh in alignment so it's like as these energies are bottoming out they could be really trying you they're, they're competing with you it's like they want to be you or something like that Empress, King. wow, okay. I was think that's why I was like, wait, there's the King of Cups and the Empress. Um, and then it's clarified by this lovers. So for me with this Kipper card, the lovers, I like to look at it as, I mean, classically, it's like two lovers at work, but you know, because it's not the marriage card, but there's two people here in the garden. They look like they're having a great time. Um, it's like they dropped their clothes somewhere. <laughs> they're, you know, they're lost in passion. But I'm also, so this person... I'm still not sure if this is a karmic energy looking towards you uh, as if you are now going to be this lovers with your counterpart and that's what's bottom bottoming them out but I also look at this lovers like this could be a king of cups that you're 
collaborating with as the Empress. And this is your union. This is any kind of a union. Something really good happening for you. This could be someone wanting this union with you. So, so put yourself in to the story how, you know, what resonates here. Um, because of this union, someone's really, really bottoming out or they, they're losing this union and about to do something or are doing something really hasty right now. This Ten of Pentacles could be marriage and not just business. It could be wealth. It could be having it all. And this person wants to do that with you. They see you that way. Or this could be this person thinks this is the direction that you're going and is doing a hasty move because of it. So what are they doing? Ooh, wow. Okay, so... They're either dealing... This wanted to come out. Yeah, this wanted to come out. Toil and labor. I use this, this card like someone who's putting a lot of effort into something, not just work. So it's like this... The problem is, is that this main female um, has put in a lot of work. This main female, this karmic energy has, is bottomed out or created and endings and betrayals for a lot of people. And this, this karmic female is, um, doing something really hasty right now, is being a tyrant. So it's either that when I ask the question, this official person is the main female, is the official tyrant that is now doing something really horrible based on they did some horrible things and they are doing some horrible things and they are now uh, defeated. But I think because of this toil and labor, it's either like someone's trying to fix it really quickly um, or this official person can be like a government official or somebody like getting hauled away. Someone's in trouble. Someone's in big trouble um, for, for something that they, they did. This could be actual toil and labor like they are in trouble for some kind of thing they did at work which could make sense why this three of pentacles is reversed over here i will i will get more clarification so we can see where you fit into this reading because it's a you know collective reading so there might be multiple um people involved um, and everyone's timeline is slightly different. So, you know, but what I'm getting is, is that things are coming together for you. This is either your person or a karmic person who is, everybody's, everybody is bottoming out that did things to you that made wrong choices, all of that stuff. They're all experiencing karma. And I think this is, a lot of people reacting hastily and trying to make moves right now, right now to save themselves or to push their agenda forward. And a lot of this stuff is people are doing things without thinking. There could be people that are literally getting hauled away right now. So I'll keep going. Message. Sometimes this is like social media or the way that things are seen. So they could be watching you and feeling like they want you to just stop, stop posting or go away. Or um, they're competing with you. They can't see, they're, you wanna, you're just trying, they're stuck on you, and but you're uninterested. 
message of concern. Okay, so yeah, this... This King uh, Knight of Cups, either an action, someone took an action, a deceitful action, and but they were being seen. Whatever it is, this so there's like receipts for it, and they they were under they were under judgment by this King of Swords. Star, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Main male journey. Well, for sure, your journey, the journey of your life, your North Node, right? Everyone's concerned with your North Node. This could be this King of Swords. either trying to reestablish to right some wrongs or this could be your person concerned that there's going to be another person and they want to be part of your life or this could be like another person who's involved in this situation a third person that was involved with this main female i think there's like multiple parties here like i was saying earlier there's like more people involved i did a lenormand and this man kept popping up this man um and like maybe i think it was like last month the same ma male kept popping up um So this is either someone who's going to right some wrongs or I def yeah, I feel like someone is concerned with your ten of pentacles. Someone's on your side, someone is not on your side. Mature woman. That's my card for you with your emotional maturity, luxury, happiness. So, your Nine of Cups. People are like something good happens for you, or looking at your life the wrong way. It's like the things that you have, it's like, like because they approached life that way it's like you're smug because you get a, a thing an item or you something good happens or you, an event or something good here makes everyone very unhappy family room someone's withholding here One more for family room. Pathway. Huh. Someone's like alone here and they can see the pathway. They're they're holding back something. They're holding back or they've seen they've seen the greed doing the right thing, being greedy with doing the right thing. Seven of Cups. Wow, mature man. That's my card for your person who's supposed to be emotionally mature. Mature man. Wealthy man. There's so many people involved. And then poverty came out. This could be, um, something coming out about your person, 
having to do with, oh my gosh, there are so many people here. Because we've got this main male. This wealthy man, mature man. Your person, if they're partnered up with someone, um, it's falling apart because of these tyrannical actions, either by their karmic or something they did. They could be coming out of an illusion and watching everything fall apart because of what this karmic did. Ooh. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands. This is news. This is the karmic energy. Worried about how they appear. And something maybe that they might have done to create problems for people. Or by losing their, their, their clout. Um, by maybe your person coming towards you. Um, to get married or create some sort of partnership um, that's going to create some kind of wealth for you. I feel like this person is expecting, expecting this great fortune and potentially also a house, some real estate. This person is really concerned about it and it's like, consuming them and also um i think that they are someone who you know is like an energy thief an energy thief that somehow manages this is like yeah that's like distant horizons is like my astral card or my you know energy card and we've got ace of wands which is energy awareness so it's like you know, an energy vampire. It's like if things work out for you, it's like living off of your birthright or trying to be you, you getting back on track destroys them. Not being able to be you destroys them. Community, yeah, that's what that's that feels like a celebration or a party. It feels like people. It's like this energy. There's a lot that needs to unfold here, but it's like people don't want to don't want to deal with it while this celebration happens. Multiple people. This looks like things. You know, peace getting restored. It's like there's still things that need to be figured out here. Um, but it's like a lot of the things that had happened to you are going to be exposed and clarified. And if you have like a mission that you've been working on, some project, and you've been waiting for your ships to come in, it's like this sort of celebration you, you, um, this achievement's coming, but then there's more, there's more, and this could be, this could be even in some cases like a honeymoon, a honeymoon, wedding shower stuff with someone from your past or someone that has a feeling like someone from your past. Someone who carries an energy, like if it's a replacement twin or counterpart, spiritual counterpart. Um, yeah, all the people that were trying to take your birthright are under judgment. This could be real court or this could be like kar karma, karma court for trying to steal from you. Uh, 
Um, let's get a little more I think the takeaway here so far is that people are in trouble for the things that they've done. People are scrambling. This karmic energy has not learned from the situation. They are doubling down on this tyranny, we'll call it. Yeah, Carlos, you know, they could be losing money, but I also look, look at this as like an empty vessel who's a spiritual hater who wants your person back and feels like your person's coming towards you. That's what this issue is. And what are they doing or what's happening? The problem for them is, what is the... All right, they're making a move that's just not thought out at all right it's hasty they're not thinking and they might not be as smart as they think they are they're making a move they focused in on you it's the same like it's like illness like just so focused on your life and being you it's like trying to scramble to do something to fix it by is almost like de deceit more deceit but it's like being exposed for for what they did it was like dumb it's really really dumb trying to be you and people are moving on fast so but what is this knight of swords Okay, it's like feeling in, like they're in spiritual jail and, and acting out. Okay. They're acting out. They could be, they could be actually in some cases really heading to jail for, for doing what they did. It could be that people are moving on and they're trying to defend themselves. There's a couple scenarios here, things that they did around work, maybe like work bullies, um, trying to be you, take what's yours, steal, lie, um, manipulate, everything that they did. They're trying to get out of it or they're being held accountable right now. They could be, this could be an outburst. Yeah, girl fight. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't sure who this was. Girl fight, they're in competition with you. And I think that if you post things, they think that you're fighting them or your life somehow it's like the game that they're playing with you that you're somehow playing the same game but you're not and i feel like they're trying to find ways to make you look bad still okay cyber bully so this that's this message of concern something that they were doing it doesn't have to be online harassment and bullying they could have done things in the real world but whatever it was uh, the receipts, whatever this message is, might have been, um, they thought they were doing it in the dark, whatever deceitful thing they, they were, they were doing, um, they were being, they were under judgment the whole time. Um, whatever lies they told about you, they thought they were, you know, finessing people, but this could be someone from the law that was watching them. Um, this could be divine energy watching them just 
what's important to know is that, you know, because everybody's scenario is different here, that whatever they were doing to you, that you were maneuvering around anyway, you were focused on your work and things weren't working out, you know, a lot was going, was going wrong. It was all seen. And main male journey, ten of pentacles. They are not planning on looking away, healing their own lives. This is all focusing on what you get. And what makes me feel a little uncomfortable is that it's almost like they're still trying to plan something with this main male because this is not your person. This is another person. They won't be happy if you are with someone else. They won't be happy if you're with your person. And this could be someone that's helping you that makes them upset. This could be someone that turned on them that they were with friend that was helping them that's now turned against them they're not happy about things working out for you this ten of pentacles mature woman happiness yeah <laughs> this is so like this is you being unbothered and them being obsessed four of cups luxury happy like they they feel rejected by your happiness. Things working out for you makes them very unhappy. And, and it is, it is. Keep your head up. We, oh man, okay. Wolf in sheep's clothing, giving money, blocked. Ooh. This is making them really angry that, that's so, this is hard to figure out. For, there's something greedy going on here. Give me money. Greed. person wants money they're trying to take something they feel this is their way out they're still using that trying to use that knight of cups energy but they're also blocked like they can't get the information that they need and that's what this dirt digging is I feel like they're alone trying to figure out think they think this is their way there's something about they're alone right now doing something hasty or someone's watching them do this there's something that they did something greedy for money that they did they could have tried to block you And they know that things are going to work out now because of this King of Swords. And I think, yeah, okay, so everyone knows this is the environment position. Your person knows that this person was a happiness hater and watching you all the time. Your person is watching you. Your person might also be having a really tough time dealing with karma and not be acting out of their best self in some cases because this is, or they're fighting with a partner or fighting with another person. It's like infighting here, realizing who's around them are also happiness haters that maybe they were building with people that didn't care for them 
that are now also turning against them. And we're really stressed and trying to think. The illusion is over. Business, business deals breaking apart. Um, networks falling apart. Um, job loss. All because of what this, this person tried to do to you. And now turned on them. Everyone's turning on each other. Your person might also be trying to look into what you're doing. Your person might be desperate as well right now. If things are working out for you, this could be hurting your person in some cases. But there could be a business partner or someone who is also suffering because of this. They might have been involved in just sort of like letting this person do whatever they wanted. This jealous bully who was in competition with you the whole time. It's just all falling apart. Yeah. Wow. This is for that. Like when I was saying this energy, energy um, thief, energy vampire, divination abuser, idol. It's like you, things working out for you, really trying this look, cock blocking trying to stop you from getting what's yours. They, that's, they're hoping. I don't know if this is what they do, what kind of kitchen magic or meditations or effort, whatever it is they do, them and their, they could be afraid that things are coming back to them, but I don't think so. I think this is them still intending on trying to do some energy work, dream state stuff during the middle of the night, trying to make you feel tired and exhausted this is like even if even if they end up someplace not good they're they're hoping that whatever they've done or doing is going to ruin things for you well for this person whatever they're trying to do this person who's acting out right now it's like they're just going to get stuck in their head. Their actions aren't, aren't going to do anything because, whoa, that felt a little bit because they were wasting time. They were wasting time. They're just going to be lonely. They're going to, their ego is going to be bruised. Something about marrying for money. They're gonna. They're in. A, they're in a nightmare right now. Any kind of like negative energy that they sent towards you, in whatever form that was. <sighs> You're protected, and all of these these energies are coming back to this person as we speak. They already have been, but it's a it's come to um, accumul accumulate for this person. I think they're still acting out though and they still, the actions they're taking, they're desperate, they're desperate and things are falling apart for them and your person and whoever else was involved. Um, this is like going into like extreme extreme anxiety you know seeing things that aren't there the sort of like seeing shadows and hearing things their their mental chatter is very sick right now the more you have dodged these bullets that kind of bounce back to them it's like feeling like in a nightmare their life is turning into a nightmare and I think that a lot of, they don't know who they can trust right now. I think they're, they're definitely being shamed because people are ignoring them uh, because you, the, the things that they said are not true. Um, they're, they're trying to get people to respond to them. People that were involved are, are, 
and definitely ignoring them. They don't believe what they said about you. Um, the facts were untrue. These facts were untrue. And also, no, this person can't get any facts on you because you've been keeping things, you know, to yourself as you should. Um, and they just look like, like a stalker. And um, your person, now people understand that, ugh, sorry, in some cases they uh, actually had some attraction to you, um, but that your person was really into you and that they forced their way in for the wrong reasons. They, they some t a lot of them wanted to marry for money or wanted to be you to replace you because they didn't have in the side of themselves um, they, they didn't love themselves, um, and they also wanted this this jackpot. They both thought that they were going to get this jackpot, and they they were confused. Now your person feels like they've lost their chance with you, um, and is also dealing with with family issues about this this confusion, this love triangle that their family was also part of. They confuse them and they're realizing that a lot of people were, um, you know, jealous of your light and also of your person's light and that there was a lot more people kind of like focused in on you um, than, than they realized and on them as well and family members too. You might have family members that are overly concerned with what's going on with you as well right now sort of hating on you that's mir that's that is being mirrored in your person's life um there's definitely like some mental illness going on here um which is things that your person the way they were brought up is one of the reasons why they thought it was okay to be the way that they they were and um why they hooked up with somebody who was like basically like you're a stalker that was wearing wearing a mask who was just after after the money and the clout and your person is having to to deal with that their family the way their family's priorities why people were hating on you why they didn't listen to themselves how they ended up in this third party situation and they dumped the person that they love the most and now are really dealing with terrible money problems and and bad karma crying over you thinking about how it used to be and wanting it to be that way again while while you run they're they're tripping on you hope that helps